I'm Elizabeth Gearhart with Fireside. I'm here with Ron and Annie Sousa with Liberty Office Suites. Hi. Hi there. Hi, Elizabeth. So tell us what's special about Liberty Office Suites. Well, what's special about Liberty Office Suites is, um, is our people. We are a hospitality business. So the, the most important thing about what we provide is not our space or our location or our buildings. It's about having a, a good place to work so that people feel comfortable. Uh, particularly these days, you know, with, with concerns about the virus, uh, they feel safe. So, you know, we really go out of our way and not out of our way. It's what we need to do for people to, to, to feel safe. And you can see that on the, the video on our website and the halo machine that we've invested in and the touchless everything. Um, so we do, you know, we definitely make sure that we provide a safe environment, but before COVID and it, it, it's always about hospitality and making people feel welcome. People feel like they have everything that they need in order to run their businesses efficiently uh, and economically. Um, it's, these days, it's real important to have reliable internet and we have uh, fiber optic um, internet here, uh, in, actually in both of our locations. Right now, we're sitting in my little cubicle in um, in Montville in Pinebrook, uh, but uh, both buildings have, have fiber optics. So um, it's making sure that people feel welcome, that they feel secure, they feel safe, and they can get their business done efficiently. And that's our secret sauce. Right. And when you and I spoke before, you said that instead of just having offices that people use now and then come and go and never meet anybody else in the building that you're, you actually build a community. Yes. Yeah. That's part of, of what makes us special in hospitality is that we, you know, you don't, you don't have to come out and have pizza with us or we're going to have a, a cocktail on Fridays when we did cocktail Fridays. But if you are that type of person and you like to kind of network when you're not working, um, Come on out and join us and meet your, you know, you probably just by virtue of going to the restroom, <laughs> kind of meet most of the people in the building walking past them. But we, we actively encourage that. And there's a word called propinquity, which is the relationship that you develop with people by virtue of seeing them all the time. And so when you see somebody every day at work and you get to know them a little bit, you you know, you start to develop friendships and relationships. And we have people that uh, we go bike riding together or play tennis or they do Zumba. And it's, you know, they wouldn't have met otherwise, but they found somebody that uh, is, you know, like-minded. Uh, and out of that comes uh, business networking as well, because you're most likely to refer someone uh, that you know and that you see regularly and is at top of mind. Uh, so the, the business community is something that we, uh, it happens naturally, but we also actively try to encourage it. So what kind of businesses do you have in your buildings? We have uh, oh, lots of them. Um, accountants, um, we do a lot of, we have several financial planners who all do well and don't consider themselves competitors. I, I love hearing them uh, talking shop, you know, you know, comparing notes. Um, we have attorneys, uh, have an actuary. Uh, um, several marketing companies, somebody who builds websites. Uh, we have a toy company that has five offices with us. Um, we have, uh, well, so we have somebody who, an insurance broker, uh, we, you know, it runs the gamut. And some of them are, are big companies. You know, they just happen to be the local office of a, of a big company, uh, but mostly smaller businesses. We say it's the step that you take when you're ready to move from your spare bedroom. So somebody may have worked in the legal field for 25 years and said, you know, you know, heck with this, I want to start my own firm and, and, and do this all for myself. So they, you might get started out of your spare bedroom and then you're ready for a professional location. And then you come and have an office with us and you can scale up to, to more than one. You know, we have people here have five offices. Um, but it's all about having a, a, a good professional environment to work in and have your clients come and, and see you. Uh, we each, all of our locations have multiple conference rooms. They, each of our locations has meeting rooms that can accommodate up to 70 people. 
So we, um, you, you have a place that you can, you can do business in and, and look professional, you know, without breaking the bank. That's wonderful. And what are your lease terms like? Very flexible. You know, we, you can rent an office, you know, from us for, for a day. Uh, and we have one client who's been with us since we opened in 2009. So, um, you know, typically people will, will, will sign a one year agreement. Uh, we do longer terms, but we also do shorter terms. So um, it's it's very flexible, and that's really the, one of the things that uh, that people find very accommodating. If they're not sure if this location will be right for them, or they have a temporary assignment, or they're just starting a new business and they don't know how it's going to do, they you know you don't want a long term commitment if you're you're uncertain. So we we do whatever people need or want. That's great. So. Do people have 24 seven access? Yes, yes, everybody has. Um, we use mobile app credentials. So you download an app and it, it, as long as you have Bluetooth turned on your phone, you know, wherever you take your phone, you have, you have access to the building whenever you like. Nice, nice. And so what about, not that people use them that much, but they still do scanners, photocopiers, typical office equipment. Do you have that in general for everybody to share or do you need to bring your own? You know, that used to be a big part of the business, Elizabeth. It, it's, a, it's a good question. We used to provide phones and phone service, and we have a, a you know, big uh, color copier, printer, scanner that's networked that people can use. But everybody uses uh, a soft phone these days or their cell phone. You know, it's not the most professional thing to use a cell phone. Um, but, uh, you know, you can plug a soft phone into the internet port on your computer and you know, you've got a business phone. So we're out of the phone business and everybody has a multifunction machine on their desk so they can print or scan. The only time people really use our um, big copier is if they're doing bulk uh, printing or scanning. Okay. Yes, we do. The most important thing that, that we provide here that allows people to do business is having bulletproof internet. And you know, that's, that's something that we, we take seriously as well. Well, especially now, I mean, I can't tell you how many people I've had Zoom meetings with and their internet isn't very good. And yeah. the real disadvantage if you don't have that. Um, yeah, that's super important. The people so, are working from home often. And if you're working on a, a DSL or cable, uh, you know, these systems weren't designed to have multiple people working at home at the same time and streaming video all at the same time. You know, I, I know our, our local, I won't name the name, but in Montville, the, the, the provider over here has provided such poor service that our mayor and council have reported them, filed a complaint with the Board of Public Utilities. Um, we are fortunate at our end of town, we have fiber optic service available. And so that's something that is real. It's, it's one of the reasons why people have been coming to us is they just can't get work done at home due to poor quality internet. Well, I can imagine, especially if you have kids using it for school. I mean, yes. as I mentioned to you, I work out of the house and my husband goes into the law firm. And so I, I told him today he was thinking of staying home. I said, well, you have to be quiet. So I have a place to do my interviews <laughs> and you, you can't be using a lot of bandwidth because I need it. And so he went into the office. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in this in this time that we're in right now, that's huge. So that would be, like you said, it would be the main reason to go to Liberty Office Suites would be to get that benefit. Yeah, it's an important it's an important reason for some people that is the that is the reason why they they're here and we're seeing an increase in in, uh, in business and certainly in, in inquiries as people are going, you know, after 10 months of being home, you know, they're just so so ready to get out. Um, yeah, we, um, it, it, it is important and, and we recognize that. Well, and I think in normal times, when we're not in quarantine anymore, it'll still be important for people who leave corporate, because I remember when I left corporate, I left to be home with my children at the time, all of a sudden, all my work friends were gone, right? And that was hard. And, and so you have a place where you can have your own business, but you have like your work friends, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then how is the parking? I'm assuming you have a parking lot that fits everybody outside. Oh yeah, so in, in, in Montville, you know, well, there's free parking in both locations. In, in Montville, our buildings were designed initially for medical tenancies. So there was you know, very high parking ratio. There was you know, never a problem finding parking. Uh, same in Parsippany, where we also have the additional benefit of having covered parking. So um, park in the garage under the building and stay, stay dry. Well, that's nice. Well, we are in New Jersey, so I had to ask about the parking. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so your biggest benefit right now is your internet connectivity. And your other big benefit is the community that you form. And then people have their own office with their own supplies. They can get out of the house. They can go somewhere. And it sounds like a perfect solution for a lot of people, especially, as you said, starting a business at you're not sure you're going to have a year from now, it gives you a place to go. It, it does. And, you know, we have also have another um, option for people who aren't even really sure that they want to have an office yet. And that is a virtual office where you can continue working from home, uh, but you use our address. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put your home address on your business card and, or a, mail, you know, a, a post office box. So you use, a, uh, use our address, the mail gets delivered to us. Uh, when you get mail, we notify you and you can either come up and pick it up uh, or we can forward it to you. Um, and that gives you a professional look that you're in a recognized office building. Plus it also has the added benefit of aiding with uh, search engine optimization. So if you're trying to get found on the internet, um, one of the things that um, that the Google wants to know is, are you in a real office building? Are you a real legit business? And that, that definitely helps to be in an address where there, you know, Google has already recognized that other businesses are there. Absolutely, Google my business. Yes, that's that's huge. I mean, that's how a lot of people find businesses. Sure. But yeah, so, so that's really great too. So it sounds like a good option for people who are in Northern New Jersey, looking for office space and how big are your offices? Well, our, our offices, you know, vary from as tiny as this little cubicle is where I'm working from now, because, you know, the, uh, the shoemaker gets, doesn't have shoes. I'm the one in the smallest office, but you know, that we have offices that are big enough to accommodate you know, teams of, of six people uh, in the same, in the same room. And then of course there are adjacent offices that'll be next to one another. Wow. So do you have, for those six person offices, do you ever have one person that just takes it for just themselves? Uh, no, but we have one client here who has an office that probably could accommodate four people and it's a nice corner office and he's got it all to himself uh, and his dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog lives well, yes. Yeah, so that's a nice piece of flexibility too, is you can get a different size office depending on your needs. So if you start small and then you grow, there's room to grow, right? Absolutely. And in his case, that's exactly what happened. You know, he started with us um, you know, just getting his business started at probably one of the smallest offices that we had, you know, not quite as small as this cubicle, but uh, you know, the smallest include, you know, private office. Uh, and expanded uh, four times until he got into that, the large corner office and since then has added two more adjacent offices for staff. Um, so yeah, and, and if people need to scale down, they can you know, likewise do that. You know, that's the advantage of not having to sign a five-year lease and then you're committed to that particular space for that lease term. If you grow the, the adjacent tenant in the, you know, through the, the common wall might have a long lease term and you can't expand into adjacent space. And, you know, you have, you have it, it's not nearly as flexible as, well, we call it flexible office space for a reason. You know, there, this is, um, you know, the ultimate in flexibility. Right, so when people come in, is there a reader board with their name? Is there a receptionist? What happens when a client walks into the building? That's a great question, you know, and that is one of the things that, you know, we strive to do is provide a real professional look for our clients. And so, yes, both locations have staffed receptionists. 
we have a directory um, that you'll see as, as you come in, you know, digital directory. Um, and uh, in Persephone, we even have another directory right outside the door that, you know, that people, and for a nominal fee, they can put, they have a glass engraved sign right outside the, right outside the door. Um, so yes, they definitely have uh, identity. Uh, they are the, you know, clients come in and they know that they're in the right place because they can see the, uh, the name uh, that's there. Um, and they're greeted by name. If you have, if you're expecting a client at a particular time, you know, you just let the receptionist know that, you know, I'm expecting Miss Smith at, uh, at, at one o'clock. And, uh, you know, she gets greeted by name, by, you know, and, you know, say, you know, Mr. Jones is expecting you and come on into the conference room and would you like a cup of coffee? Um, you know, we try to make the experience really um, professional, not just for our clients, but for our clients' clients. So when they come in, they say, hey, you know, you're in a really nice place. The receptionist knew me, was expecting me. Uh, the coffee is, um, is good because we try to have good coffee. Um, it's important. <laughs> Um, so yes, that's that's something that we pride ourselves on is is giving people a professional look. Well, and I I don't know that people really think about this. I'm sure if they're homeowners they do, but there's a lot of work that goes into maintaining a space and then hiring the right receptionist and making sure that that person is happy and knows what they're supposed to do and fully trained. And so there are a lot of perks along with this. You don't have to shovel the walk. You know, my husband and I own the building that he has his law firm mm -hmm. in and we have to do all this maintenance and we have to keep everything up and we, you know, we have to hire a receptionist. So all of that headache is taken away in a place like Liberty Office Suites. That's right. That's right. They don't have to do it, but you know, Annie will tell you that we do it. <laughs> you know, the last snowstorm, I was here on Sunday night until midnight, and then again at uh, five thirty in the morning. You know, we had to make sure that um, you know that uh, the, the walk was. We, fortunately, we've got you know really good you know service providers mm -hmm. that uh, that do a great job. But you know, we need to make sure that it, it's open and available for business. Uh, we also have uh, my wife Annie's preschool on site in Pinebrook, and you know parents are arriving at six thirty to you know, to drop off little ones, and it's real important that they are safe and they're yeah. you know the mm -hmm. parking lot is clear. Uh, so you know that is something that we, that we do provide that our clients don't have to provide. They just have to be able to get out of their house to drive here. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's I I don't think if you have ever had to maintain a property unless you've had to do that i don't think you maybe realize how big a perk that is <laughs> that's right that's right you know, yeah, yeah unless so. they you know they've had to get up into the into the ceiling uh on a weekend to adjust the, the damper because somebody's office is too hot or too cold um you know there's uh you've got to be concerned about uh free pipes freezing and you know it, owning a property is as as as, as you say um, um a responsibility you know, it's, I'm, I'm not complaining about it, but it's something that, you know, you do have to think about um, when you own a property that our clients don't have to think about. Right. Um, that, that's part of the reason why Andy and I live in a townhome community is we don't want to shovel our own driveway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have to spend all your time where you are. <laughs> so, um, but you're also putting client videos on your website, right? Yes. You know, we, we have, uh, you know, that's it. There are testimonials, of course, that, you know, that are good for us, but it gives our clients a spotlight as well. You know, we want, you know, we have, it's an, an active um, website. You know, people, we get a lot of hits and traffic to our website. And the reviews are one of the things that uh, prospective clients, you know, tend to look for. Uh, so when you're featured in, uh, in a Liberty testimonial, people get to know um, what, what you do. Uh, we, we're blessed. We have uh, Tommy Hilkin with, with us. He's one of our clients and uh, he does our uh, client videos. Uh, and he's, he's a, a great and very entertaining. He's an entertainer, obviously, uh, but, but he does real, really good uh, videos where people get to spotlight their businesses uh, on our reviews. Yeah, Tommy's great. I know Tommy. Yeah, he's He's very fun to talk to and uh, he does make it interesting and does a good job. So 
He right. does. And he makes, he's a great client also. We love having him. Their clients, our other clients like having him around. Well, he's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a lot of fun. So great. Well, is there anything else that we need to know about Liberty Office Suites? Um, no, we're open. We're here. We're welcoming. We love to have, we have, oh, well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. we do have childcare on site. <laughs> on site. <laughs> so so we're going to do another video on that, but yes, you mm -hmm. have a daycare adjacent, which you, wow. That is 20, so 20 feet away, right across mm -hmm. the little courtyard is, is learning garden Academy. Show your logo, honey. Right there. <laughs> Boy, for moms, that is fabulous. It's awesome. Great. Absolutely. We've had moms who were working here, who had infants, were able to come and nurse during the day, um, just check in, actually see that their child is fine. Um, it's great. It, it's, it's great for moms and dads. Right, right. Well, you could really promote it to corporate that way if they have new parents. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's also good for our Liberty clients because people say to, to us that they love seeing, um, you know, the, in, in the nice weather, the, uh, the staff at the preschool will wheel the uh, kids in, in the strollers around on the sidewalks. Aww. So every now and then you get, uh, you know, a, a four child uh, stroller with, mm -hmm. you know, these cute little faces, you know, being wheeled by your, your office. And uh, a lot of people say that they, they, that's one of the things that they like about their own office is that it's facing the courtyard or it's facing the, the sidewalk in the front and they get to see the kids. Plus this year we didn't do it, but for every Halloween before, um, we, we paraded we around the parade property. Through the property <laughs> and through the building. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we make sure that the kids get their, get their treats. Oh, what fun. It sounds like a little neighborhood. <laughs> it is a neighborhood. It is. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It's a fun place. It's a fun. We're we're, we're blessed. We really have a, a nice place to. I'm not saying just because we, we run it, but it's a fun place for us to go to as as owners. But we get to see the satisfaction from our clients. You know, for Annie's clients, the parents. You know, they. If you go to her Learning Garden Academy's website, you'll see some just glowing testimonials. Um, and we we try to do the right thing. And we've got Excellent. wonderful clients that uh, uh, that that come to us, and we're, we're we're blessed. Excellent. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. A pleasure to uh, to to be with you. Thank you for making the time for us. Yeah, it was it was a great chat. Yes, definitely. Thanks. Thank you.